just to clarify, Track Attack is a system, it's like a data acquisition system, and it helps to read data from a number of different sources. So whether you had a full-on cup car that was out on the track, you've got all the data coming in, you can load it up onto Track Attack and through its MoTeX system or the PI system. Then you can get out um, and bring in data from another source and load it up on the same Track Attack platform and then you can overlay them and, and look at all the different parameters that you might want to look at. It's not necessary for everyone to use that. That's something that we use as a coaching tool. Um, and as you've seen, sometimes the various uh, bits of data that you're getting don't quite come in properly because they've all they've been manipulated back behind the scenes in a set of course that it gets sand down as a track that's not actually a readily available track. It's kind of been uh, it's mutated. So some of the data doesn't come through in the right format for us. Um, the easiest thing with the sim is, like you said, you can record this, the, you driving on the sim um, screenshot or the, you know, the, the screen visuals you're seeing, which normally also on that screen we can actually get you to put up brake and throttle and steering angles and all that sort of stuff. So we've got that data and it's live right then and there as you're going around the track. We can then review that video, which has got video and data all together and use that as the uh, method of going through and using that to, as our resource for coaching you. Okay. And um, in some ways that's almost beneficial because it's the same information that you can see. So when you're back at home on the sim, you can actually look at the same things that we've analysed and start to bring your attention to the areas we've pointed out. Whereas if we're looking at data that you're not used to seeing, we can point out a bunch of stuff and then it's a little bit harder for you to translate that back to the environment you're driving in. So yeah. um, sometimes and it's probably easier for most people to just be able to use that video, it, send it through on YouTube, a YouTube link or whatever, and then we'll, we'll be able to review it from there.